I love the quote that says, uh, great stories happen to those who tell them. Personal branding just weaves together your life and your work in the form of sharing your life's work. That's all it is. It's not that complicated. So the question is no longer if you have a personal brand. So let's, show of hands, who, who here is like really building their personal brand? Anybody? Okay, cool. I was thinking that everyone was gonna raise their hand, but I'm way more excited that it happened like that. Because here's the thing, every one of you are. It's just whether you're cultivating it or you're letting it be defined on your behalf. The reality is there's probably things, I hope, that you do that are interesting yeah. outside of the mortgage business. Yeah. And so it's, it's kind of weaving your life in with your business you know, it, it kind of takes me to this place where, where you know, so many people talk about, um, you know, I'm looking for like the perfect opportunity. When I can find out what I'm passionate about, then I'll go all in or, or then I'll start documenting, then I'll start, you know, building my brand. And what I've found is that if you become passionate about what you are doing, you can find things about it that are interesting and it doesn't have to be so specific to your industry. It's key pillars that are universal to any industry. Uh, key pillars like hard work and integrity and persistence and resilience, like things that whether someone's in business or just in life will be able to take away from that. I, and I say this a lot that, um, that you know, people say like, oh, it's, not, it's nothing personal, it's just business. Well, it's all personal. It's all personal. So let's eliminate that from our vocabulary. Uh, it's all personal. Um, I just, I, I personally think that it's important to have that personal, personal aspect of your business brand. Um, businesses want to connect, or people want to connect with the business, and that means that they're going to, they're going to have to connect with someone within it. And so, whether that's you or not, but there needs to be a face, I believe, of of a business, and especially as the market corrects, especially as the economy. Um, starts to crash, but it's going to. When that happens, people are gonna to continue to do business with the people that they feel like they know. They're gonna to continue to do business with people that they can feel like they trust and that they actually have a relationship with. I did an interesting experiment on one of these live Q&As the other day, and I said, how many of you guys feel like you know me? Like, legitimately, in the comments, say, I know you, if you think like you know me, if, if you feel like you know me. And these people put, I know you, I know you, I know you. And I went through and I'm like, so John Ellis uh, lives in Ohio. Um, and we've spent together in person, I don't know, a, a total of two hours, maybe. Um, I don't know John. I, I know some things about John and I've gotten to know more here recently, but John right here in the comments on Instagram is saying he knows me and he just said really well. Tiffany Strunk just said me. I know Tiffany lives in Mississippi. I know she loves the weather <laughs> and she is a weather expert, but I don't know Tiffany. But Joe just said he feels like he knows me. And he feels like he knows me because he's gotten on all these live streams, that he's seen all this content come out every single day for the last two years. And so if Joe was potentially a customer, potentially a client, and all of a sudden the market goes, Ooh, whoop, and he needs services that he knows that I offer, guess what, he's gonna come to me. And because you've been putting out content and they've been seeing you constantly and they feel like they actually know you, especially as the market gets difficult, which it's going to get difficult in the mortgage industry in the next few years. <laughs> but people will continue to do business with people that they like yeah. and people that they feel like they actually know. And so those people that you're not talking about it on a regular basis, but they know that you are in that industry, they're gonna to come to you when the opportunity arises and they need someone.